How's it going everyone, Justin here. I have been indoor bike training since 2008, 2009. I've never had a dedicated space to do it in. I have trained outside. I've trained in parking garages, in the living room, in the bedroom, but I've never had a dedicated training room. And that now changes. So this is going to be my new dedicated training space. And the cool thing is, is I picked this room in particular because it's got a lot of features that are gonna work really, really well in here. And I'm gonna show them to you so you can maybe implement some of them into your own room. So I've got a window behind me, which is gonna be great. It's not a south facing window. I like to work out after work. I don't have to be eating the sun at the end of the day. I've already changed the light and put on a really nice dimmable LED so I can have as much lighting or as little lighting as I want. And then that nook right there, I'm actually really excited about. Now I can have two screens there. So that means Zwift and Trainer Road, Trainer Road and some sort of entertainment, whatever. First thing to do is go ahead and paint this room because I'm not feeling this teal blue. All right, so got the room taped up. Zeke's all ready to help. Now let me show you what color I've actually gone with. It's kind of like medium dark gray from Sherwin Williams. All right, so I've got it painted. I've got the bike in its place. I'm actually super happy with how this color turned out. One 4K display is good, but two is even better. Is it overkill? Yeah, it's totally overkill, but why not at this point, right? And the crazy thing is you can now get 43 inch screens in 4K for like $210 each. And they're not like the best displays ever, right? It doesn't have to be great. It just has to be entertaining. All right, you know how everybody has like that one thing that drives them crazy? This box here is gonna solve that one thing for me. I feel like a lot of people mount their training TVs too high and that's kind of weird because one, it's uncomfortable, but more importantly, we spend a lot of time indoor training, right? So because of that, if on the road, you're kind of in this kind of like a neutral head position, right? But then when you're indoors, if you're kind of doing one of these, it's not comfortable, it messes up your bike position, and it's not good. You wanna replicate your outdoor position indoors as much as possible. I'm gonna wall mount one, like right up there. But number two is gonna be floor mounted on a tiltable TV stand. All right, we'll put the fan back in a bit. But for now, that was almost easy, actually. I will admit, I wish this went a little lower, um, but the view from the bike is perfect. All right, so next we need a computer to power all of that. So let's home build one real quick. Got the Fractal Design Mesh by C. It's about 80 bucks. Uh, small case with really good airflow, which is exactly what we need. Uh, for the processor, we've got the i5-9400F paired to a compatible motherboard. The thing about this chip right here, it doesn't have a ton of cores. It's not the most powerful chip on earth, but it has a really fast single core clock speed, and that's what Zwift likes. And then a super cheap $30 240 gig SSD. Even with two 4K screens, a 1660 Super is gonna be fine. All right, so that's it. The setup's on, it works, it kicks ass. A uh, quick little rapid fire tour of some stuff that I think is kind of neat. All right, so hidden back there in the mess of cables is a Go Coax Mocha adapter. And what that is, is it lets me use my house's cable coax to essentially hardwire my internet devices. So these two TVs and this computer are hardwired to the internet, which obviously means really good internet performance, especially for those of you who are like upstairs or you're in a garage or basement or somewhere. But it also means that this trainer here is not getting as much wireless interference. These trainers, not calling out Wahoo specifically, just in general, are really sensitive to wireless interference. So the, the less devices you can, or the fewer devices you can have on Wi-Fi, the better. Next, I have a USB cable that runs right under the mat and right down to there, and that has my Ant Plus key. So the trainer is getting really good Ant Plus as well as it's connecting to Bluetooth over there. Um, you might notice I have two fans. I have the classic Lasco Performance fan as well as just a Lasco regular fan. And if you can only have one fan, these blower fans are awesome. But if you can have a front fan and a back fan, oh, it's really nice. That is great for comfort, as well as you maximize your performance indoors. Uh, storage is a big thing for me. I picked this little cube up from Ikea. Uh, this is just a bunch of camping and triathlon stuff. Have all my running clothes, sort of bike accessories. 
um, and just like sweat towels and, and grease rags. Uh, this is kind of neat. It's an Anchor 5 port USB hub. So like it feels like I never have enough cables to charge my devices. I have like two headphones, a watch, a camera, my heart rate, my little optical heart rate monitor over there. Uh, just lots of stuff going on. And then for like my YouTube stuff, this is now the space for that. I actually have a place to do like reviews and stuff. This is a bunch of camera gear that I've had forever just because I do camera stuff. Um, pick this table up from Ikea. This is also like 30 bucks. This wall is sort of free right now. I don't know what I want to do with this wall. Um, I think I might actually put some bike storage there for if I ever bring my road bike up here, I can put like the triathlon bike, like mount it on this wall. Or the other thing is, I hung up my race bibs on this wire that runs across, which I thought was a good idea, but the fans just make them rattle like crazy. So that actually ended up not being a very good idea. So I might move that over to there. It's probably hard to tell on, it's probably hard to tell on camera, but Zwift is basically running locked at 60 FPS, which matches my TV. It looks absolutely excellent. And then I've got Trainer Road on the screen above it. What I've actually been doing is uh, sort of like overlaying Trainer Road down here over Zwift. So I look at this screen and then I can just have Spotify or YouTube or something up there. And the interesting thing to note, I've got this screen pretty low and some people might say that it's too low, but I gotta say when you're on the bike, it really replicates a good position with where your head wants to be. Cause I kind of like having my head sort of looking down like this. Then I can look up with my eyes right there and it's pretty much perfect. All right, so that's it. That is the full setup. I'm super happy with it, as you can probably tell. I've waited like a decade or more to have a space like this. So it's been a long time coming. Uh, a couple things. One, I totally acknowledge this setup is overkill. It's needless. It's a bit excessive, right? I freely admit that. But here's the thing. Everything you're looking at here, excluding the bike, costs less than a Peloton for some perspective. If you ignore the smart trainer, like if you're using a Kirk Kinetic Road Machine like I have in the closet right there, uh, this whole setup, if you just used a laptop that you already have, would be like 550, 600 bucks. You can get Kirk Kinetic Road Machines on Craigslist for like $110 used in the US. They're excellent. I love road machines. The biggest thing is you just need a space, right? And I totally acknowledge that right now, especially now, carving out a space, is really hard, I totally get that. There's no point in having a, a fancy bike and a fancy smart trainer if you don't actually get on them and do the workouts. And I am a big believer that like getting over that mental hurdle and having everything set up and being in a place that you want to be in with music that you like and whatever it takes for you to get on the bike and do the workout is super important because actually freaking doing the workouts is the most important thing. And that's what it comes down to. If there's any questions that you have, feel free to let me know. I'm happy to geek out about any of this stuff here. If you have any tips or there's things that like I don't have in my room that you enjoy that like I should have or other people should know about, comment it. Let me know. Like, let's build this out. Let's make it awesome, right? Uh, otherwise, I hope that everybody else is doing well. I'm happy to be back on the bike. Uh, I had some definitely like anxiety and life stress and just busy and wasn't riding my bike. I'm sure my FTP's dropped, but I'm happy to be back on the bike. Happy to be making videos again. Uh, looking forward to a productive winter. Hope everybody else is doing well as well. All right, I'll see you on the next one. Bye.